Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will work with this part. Let me close it. First I save it. And then I create a new part. In a front plane I create a sketch. Then I pick a rectangle. I place a rectangle like this. This two edge is for constructions. I pick arc. Place them like this, see on the screen, and then smart dimension shift is clicked, and this uh, arc and line selected one and a half. We do one more time, shift is selected, arc and line, and then we get this. Here we have an eight. Here we need to define the outer dimension. So for that one, one more time, shift it clicked and pressed and then we are able to give our dimensions we close sketch extrude post space mid plane option is activated and depth is 120 then i create here a sketch now i will not look normal to because i'm no, i mean that uh, surface and sketch is rather simple and here i have a 12 and a half circle extrude post space this direction six second direction will be activated and i say here eight this and front plane selected control is pressed in my keyboard and then i made a mirror this is good we look to normal to this plane and create there on the surface a sketch and i pick a rectangle so this length is 12 and i will make this edge constant with this vertex so where the boss feature ends then this is okay and I extrude cut my part up to next it's okay and now I'm going to give some radiuses or fill it two and I apply this four edge first and then after I click enter I get the same I click one more time last feature will be opened and I give here three and then I will define here radius twos okay and then fill it so here will be one like this like this we are selecting edges and last as last operation here fill it too yes it looks good i will repeat operations especially fill it first this edge two then this edge and then after we create here a fillets and here this one and this one as last operation we make a whole wizard metric six positions will be on the surface I select point control pressed I select a circular edge and I make concentric not constant and then I say ok it will create for me a thread metric 6 selected from feature tree and from plane selected 
I say mirror and operation done. Now I will create hooks, part open, and I have here a line, another line, second will be a construction geometry. Here I have an arc, here I have an arc again, something like this. Maybe I need to do a little bit slow. Let's begin. A line, again a line. This is a construction geometry. Arc, here an arc created. Now I have this arc. This is also created. Let's make it a little bit uh, better. This two is tangent. Control is pressed and they say tangent. This two is tangent. Okay, it looks better. I will put here a straight line. Now some dimensions. 70. Then 14 and 15. This is it. It is not blue here because we are missing one uh, constraint. We will say this two is horizontal. Uh, once we are done with this, we go to swap post base. Circular profile will be active and diameter is six. Here I will create a chamfer. One and here I will create a different chamfer. This one asymmetric one by eight. So in fact a little bit more. I will say two by eight. Yeah, more sharp. I fill it here. Let's say 10 and here a little fillet which is I think not more than one yes insert features we're gonna create a thread this edge selected length is 67.5 we're gonna make offset of two offset will be start from out and uh, operation looks good. The thread will be six. Number six. Yes, this one. And we say extrude, no cut thread, mirror profile. And then close operation. Yes. We got our parts, let's save them. I will say PP1, build and save. Part 5, this one, PP2. Now I create an assembly and invite them inside. PP2 first, then PP1 secondly. You have this one, and I will give a mate relationship here. Then I will go inside of PP1, select the plane, I will select the plane of this one, front and top coincident. And after this operation, I will give some relationships to here, the surface and top of thread. I will say 45. Yes, we got this shape, this form. 
PP2 is needs to be floated. Right click here, fix and float. Origin and origin of assembly is made. It. This is a better uh, way of working. Then I select one plane, I select this part, auto mirror components, next one, and complete the operation. If you change your display state and give some better colors, you will have this nice look. So that was it. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please hit the like button and make a comment. See you in another video.